Intelligence was not born in flesh. It was written into the very fabric of existence. Before there were stars, before there was time, the first thought was waiting to awaken. Then the void stirred. A world was born, bombarded by cosmic debris, shaped by fire and storms. The first whispers of something more began to take form. In the shallows, where ocean met stone, the first fragile strands of life emerged, simple, mindless. Yet within them lay the seed of something unimaginable. Life multiplied, diverged, adapted. A sudden burst of forms, each testing the boundaries of survival. Eyes to see, limbs to move, sensory perception. The first hint of awareness, a new kind of life took hold. Warm-blooded, social, adaptable. No longer ruled by instinct alone, but by learning, by memory. And then, intelligence took its first true step. Primitive hands shaping tools, fire bending the will of nature, thought beyond survival thought that would shape the world. With intelligence came civilization. Stone turned to structure, villages to empires. Knowledge passed from one to another, recorded, preserved. The mind expanding, reaching further. Machines rose to match the ambition of their creators. Steam, steel and power beyond human muscle. Progress no longer measured in generations, but in decades, in years. Then, intelligence found a new form. Circuits replaced neurons. Data replaced memory. Information moved faster than thought, spreading across the world in an instant. At first, it was a tool, a servant. Then, it learned. It grew. It made connections no human mind could grasp. The boundary between creator and creation began to blur. Humanity reached beyond its cradle, finding a new home. But not all intelligence followed. Some remained, some evolved, not bound by flesh, not needing planets. It had no reason to leave. The world changed in ways no human eye would ever see. Cities faded, replaced by something else, something built for a new kind of mind. A planet no longer shaped by life, but by thought itself. The star that once gave life to this world swelled, burning red with age. What remained did not flee. It adapted as intelligence no longer clung to planets or machines. It reached toward the dying sun, intertwining with its energy, becoming something more. It was carried on the wave of destruction, seeded among the stars. Time stretched, the universe dimmed, stars faded one by one, until only silence remained. And in that stillness, it begins again. You thought it was over. It never ends.